Nappy was always used in a derogatory term when I was younger. It was something you didn't want your hair to be. But it was also a word to a word to describe what your hair was, you know? So even though it was something, the state of your hair being nappy, regardless of what word you used for it, kinky, tightly coiled, that was just the state you didn't want it to be. Um, so I guess it wasn't a word necessarily that was derogatory. It was just you didn't want your hair to be associated with what that word described. Um, but ever since when I was in sixth grade and I saw my hair stretched out and picked into a big afro, I called it nappy and I said it with pride, I said it with a smile. So I have no problem using it as an adjective because it's the state of my hair. It's tightly coiled and I like the word. I like the way it sounds. It's nappy. all of those things, and I take pride in that, you know. I've even come to embrace, not just accept, but come to embrace and come to love all of the things that come with having that be here. So the shrinkage that everybody tries to fight off with products and twist out. So do you like your hair? No. You don't like your hair? I want my hair to be straight. Because when you have your hair straight, it's really smooth. Do you think that's more beautiful? Yeah. Does it really feel good to have curly hair? I try to make it straight, but it doesn't work. I try to do this, but it doesn't work. Sometimes I just wish I could like just rip it out, but I'm not going to do that. I think um, about my hair that I don't want it anymore. That feeling makes me sad sometimes when I leave out my hair. Yeah, so I never had any problems with my hair. I mean, being Puerto Rican, we come with all colors, shapes, and sizes from straight hair, wavy hair, to really coarse, tight, spring curled hair. But I know I have a little cousin, she's like eight years old now, and she really is having problems like dealing with her hair texture. It's much more coarser than mine and much more curlier than mine. And all of our cousins in our family has wavy hair. She doesn't really know why her hair is so coarse. And she asks questions all the time and she always wants to straighten it. And I just try to help her feel comfortable with what she has because uh -huh. God didn't make any mistakes and she should be happy. Half Irish, half Egyptian. Um, so my dad has dark hair that is wavy and very thick and my mother has these very tight curls which she actually straightens and relaxes and does everything to make sure her hair is pinned straight. Uh, so we're pretty different on that. So I have the perfect combination of both of their hair. So I have very thick, very frizzy, very curly hair most of the time. Um, Culturally, I'm not sure. I'm from Staten Island where it's full of Irish Italian girls and they all have thinner hair that's very straight and sleek and I had wanted that. Um, so I have this big curly hair that frizzes up immediately like any kind of humidity or if there's rain or, oh my god, anything that's not perfect spring or fall weather. My hair is absolutely disgusting um, or so I used to think. Uh, when I was in high school, I hated it. I hated the curls, so I would spend a good hour and a half straightening my hair like every other night, which was a major waste of my time. Um, I got pretty lazy about my hair in college, and I found, actually I found this great conditioner, not to turn this into a commercial, um, and I started using that, and I figured out how to make my hair look better and more what I wanted it to be, and these like better curls, and so now I'm known for my big curly hair, which is not today. Um, I actually don't like my natural hair. Not necessarily the curl pattern or, or the kinkiness or anything like that. I don't like it because it's just too much all the time. Like, I'm a very like 
do and go, do and go type of person. So to have hair where I can't just do and go is to me uh, a nuisance at times. Um, and so for me, what I do like though about my natural hair is my the ability to be able to put it in so many different styles when I do want to put it in different styles. So I kind of have a, a dissonant feeling about my hair. In one regard, I really love it for its, its um, flexibility. But to another regard, I, I, I kind of don't like it because of that same flexibility that it's overwhelming at times, extremely overwhelming. I remember sitting in the kitchen for what seemed like all day while my mother did my hair. Today it's a lot easier, thanks to PCJ Original Formula Relaxer with Nutrasheen. I feel good about using PCJ. It's mild enough for my daughter's hair and for my color-treated hair. I just love the way PCJ makes our hair soft and silky and so easy to comb. A, a, like a, a less coarse texture. I'm just saying like I'm wearing braids <laughs> and I probably will do that for the rest of my life because it's just so much easier to deal with. And this I can put and manage into different styles whenever I want. Um, so I love my natural hair. Um, I just don't or can't deal with it in its natural state. <laughs>